Hey guys, Pete Gray here. Just getting back to you with uh, the Lazy Spa Miami. Just uh, finished painting off, painting some of the fence there. I'm going to finish off the fence there too. It's a nice sort of dark blue paint there. Um, still uh, doing a bit of home renovations. You can check out some of my other videos. Uh, of what I've done to my house on a budget of ten thousand uh, dollars, it's kind of probably gone to about eleven thousand now, with including paint for the fence and some lights for the external area here, my courtyard. So the lazy spa is going well. Um, look, it doesn't come with the chemicals, so I just went to like um, Clark Rubber. I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is not paid, so any company I mentioned to you is actually. Um, just exactly where I got the products from so um, you don't get the products no chemicals uh, with the lazy spa Miami I'm not sure they send uh, any chemicals for any of their spas to be honest um, could be like a health and safety risk um, so I'm just coming into my garage here that's the box that you actually get the lazy spa in it's not that big it's actually pretty good fits in any standard sedan so you need to get um, uh, look I get some um, chlorine uh, tablets. Uh, you put it in the chlorine filter there. Um, um, so you put a couple of tablets in there, depending on the size of the tablet. So as long as it fits in there, it's great. You can chop them up and put a couple in, but you really gotta make sure that you have the right levels of chlorine and P pH levels. So I got this other five in one pool and spa test strips. Uh, there's 50 in there, costs roughly around 19 bucks. Um, Clark Rubber is in Australia. I'm not sure if it's overseas. But um, you get these test strips, and just pop it, it's like a Barocca, Barocca tin actually. And all these other uh, colors there measure how much chlorine, uh, how much pH levels, whether you go up or down so you really got to have a balance so the filtrite here the spa ph up i've been using that you use a cap fill it's got the um um all the information there which is relating to what's on here too where the 7.2 is okay um so that's the up now if i put too much of that in i need to get the spa ph down so you need to get the pH levels to be within within 7.2 to 7.6. Sorry about that, guys. I'll just let the phone um, adjust. 7.2 to 7.6 on pH. Um, if it's too low, you need to put up. If it's too high, you need to put pH down. So two different chemicals, okay? Because if you have too much chlorine, it's gonna, you're going to get itchy skin, bloodshot eyes, and you're going to look like death. So you don't want to look like death, particularly, particularly you know, the, this day and age. So the chlorine's pretty cool. These are stabilized all-in-one tabs. So you put that in, and then the up pH, down pH. So you just got to get used to the levels of how, how many, ca I use a cap full, two caps. Uh, it does tell you on the back, like eight grams, ten grams to get to that level seven point eight or eight. So, yeah, all the chemicals. Um, look, uh, the spa's great. My wife and I had a um, spa the other night. It was really good. So, I've got the pH level pretty much okay now. Um, the chlorine's fine. Um, yeah, everything's running pretty good. Um, Good investment I mean for 500 bucks to have a spa that you can deflate whenever you want and put away in the garage or pack away is fantastic so yeah um, yeah enjoying the lazy spa Miami um, this is not a pr paid promotion I would definitely tell you guys okay I appreciate all your feedback all your thumbs up all your likes all your comments uh, please subscribe um, you know, my channel is based on how to do things um, and also travel experiences in my life and what to do overseas. So, 
I hope it helps you. That's all I'm doing it for, is to help everyone else out and share share my life with you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.